Hello everyone, my name is Chris Ferris. Welcome back to the channel. I have got a great video for you today. We are gonna build a 112 guitar speaker cabinet and then we're gonna bring it into the studio and record a song with it. And while we're recording that song, we are going to compare it against some comparable cabinets. So I've got a Marshall 112 and I have an Orange 212 cab. It's gonna be a lot of fun, I hope you enjoy. So before we get into the build montage, let me just take a minute here just to explain the build of this cab. So the cabinet itself is built out of an inner layer of half inch plywood and an outer layer of project boards. So these are pine boards that you can get at your hardware store, usually used to make furniture or shelving. I like using these, they're really simple to work with and they stain really nicely. Now. If you are looking to build a cabinet that is versatile for the road and for rehearsals, you're probably gonna wanna wrap the thing in Tolex. But for my use, this thing is gonna be living in my studio and I want it to match the aesthetic of the studio. That's why I went with the project board so I could get a nice stain on it so it looks like it fits in this space. So the final thing to touch on is the driver itself. I went with the 12 inch Celestian Vintage 30 8 ohm speaker. I wanted the most versatile speaker I could find and in my experience Vintage 30 is a really good all-rounder. All right, it's enough about it. I'll be back when the build is done and then we'll throw it into the studio and do a comparison.
All right, time to compare this to some other cabs. In the studio, I've got a Marshall 112. I have mine, which we'll call the DIY 112 and we have an orange 212 so you can hear the difference between the single vintage 30 and in the orange a pair of vintage 30s okay so this is how this is going to work my good buddy nathan and i we recorded this banger track so we could do this comparison what we did is nathan recorded the song three times each of those times was through a different cab as we play this song we're going to swap the cabs during the song and we will show you on the screen which cabinet you're listening to. Now understand, I did my best to level match these and all of the processing and miking techniques are the same. So I'm trying to get the, the recorded sound as close as possible. Obviously the cabinets are gonna sound different and that's what you are going to experience here. Let's do it. So I might be biased, but I love the sound of that DIY 112. The orange, obviously it sounds great, and that Marshall is awesome too, but man, there's something about that 112 I really like. I will say this about that Marshall, when you're in the room with it, it is an awesome sounding cab. Like I didn't expect it to sound that good. It was really impressive, but recorded, that 112 does it for me. All right, we'll finish off with this clean section here and there'll be a little more pairing for you to hear how they blend together. Hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions about the build process or about the recording process hit me up in the comments section i'm going to throw some links in the description as well so you can also listen to those isolated guitar tracks on their own i'll throw in a link for the build plans to the cabinet and if you like the music you heard nathan and i play in a band together so you know what i'll throw a link in there to our music as well thanks so much for watching we'll see you on the next one